Hi guys, so as you know, with the launch of the brand new Panasonic Lumix G9, with it comes a wonderful feature called high resolution mode. This gives us an 80 megapixel image. It'll move the sensor around and take eight separate images and stitch them together into one large file. So in this video, I'd like to quickly run you through the menu settings so we can see how to set it up and activate high res mode. So let's jump in and have a look. So as you know, like every feature in your Lumix camera, you can find it in the menu settings. But for ease of use and convenience, I've actually assigned high res mode to the FN1 button. So I press the button and it launches high res mode in the menu system. You can see here a few options and I'll just run through these with you. First one being picture size. So let's go into that sub menu and you can see here there's two options. We can have a 40 megapixel image, or if you like, an 80 megapixel image. Underneath we can see quality, I think you'd all be familiar with this. This is the ability to record it either as RAW, or RAW and JPEG, or just JPEG alone. This one's quite cool, and I like to leave this on because this gives us a really clear before and after. This essentially letting us record a 20 megapixel as well as an 80 megapixel of the same image. So you can flick between the two and really see the difference that high res mode gives you as a photographer. And then lastly, shutter delay, which is very important. Obviously, you don't want any movement. You don't want to bump your tripod. So you can go in here, set it for as long as you like, from 30 seconds all the way down. So for me, I just like two seconds, enough to pull the trigger and leave the tripod alone. So now that we have the settings that we like, we'll go back to start, hit the menu button, and we're now in high res mode. We'll pull the trigger, two second delay. There we go, rapid succession will create that image in camera instantaneously. So now let's have a look. I'll go into my play menu, and you can see this icon up the top here. That's showing us that that is the high resolution still. And if I go one across, that's the 20 megapixel. So let's zoom in. Find a spot, maybe the moss on the rocks will give us a good demonstration. And here we are on our 20 megapixel image. And if I scroll back, there it is there, 80 megapixel. You can see there's a clear difference there in resolution, sharpness and detail. Obviously you don't want to stay in high resolution mode all the time, so to switch it off, the default function button to end is FN2. It'll take you back to your regular camera mode. So in terms of the camera's settings to get best results, and remember in high resolution mode you're looking for maximum detail and sharpness, you want to get your camera down to its lowest ISO and also set your lens to its sharpest aperture. This particular lens I've got here, I've set to 5.6. So there you go. As you can see, it's quite easy to set up in your camera. But a few things to consider would be, you're going to need a tripod. Any movement, not gonna give you the best results. And also, your subject probably needs to be stationary, not any movement. As you can see, there's no wind here, so that's ideal, the trees won't be moving. This is gonna give you a much sharper and consistent image when it all seems together. High resolution mode from Panasonic's G9 offers high resolution images previously only available in medium format systems. I hope this tutorial helps you understand how simple and easy it is to use high res mode in your G9 and also helps to unlock some of the creativity in your photography. Thanks for watching. <laughs>